Howdy y'all, it's Round the Wheel. You're watching Son of Chips Challenge, and today we're starting with doorways. There are a lot of doors, a lot of thieves, and a lot of keys. I'm sure there's some way to do this that maximizes your bonus point total, but to be perfectly honest, I don't really care about it. Now, which one is the one that takes your keys? Is that the, is that the blue thief? Let's try it out. Yeah, Blue Thief takes the key, so now I can't get anywhere. So I've got to restart. That's wonderful. Okay. All right, let's take them. Let's only go through Red Thieves, if at all possible, then. Okay, so that's pretty nice. We got... Okay, so... Okay, that was... That took a lot of our stuff, but now... Okay, that's pretty good. So now, where do we want to go? We want to go up through... Up through where? Um... Let's see. We got some time here. We can kind of maybe... Oh, I didn't mean to do that, though. Good grief. I just kind of started moving around. Let's go... Up, up. I like this way. 750 is a good little bonus, but I'm going to have to think a little faster than this, I think. Uh, let's try... Let's just cut through... We've got a blue key, you say? Let's go... Hmm. Let's go up through... Man, I am really cutting through the bonus points. It's probably not even worth keeping them at this point, but I do have every color of key, which is probably good, right? Uh, let's cut through. Blue key goes here. One bonus point. <laughs> well, whatever the way of maximum efficiency was. I, uh, I did see it, and frankly, I don't care to. Like, if somebody wants to explain it to me, that's cool, I suppose, but let's just move on from there, I guess. That was a bit of a... If, if we were going for conserving bonus points, then it was a disaster. But Go Bitbuster has never been too bad. Turtle Blocks by Chuck Somerville, the very creator himself of Chips Challenge. So how do we want to do this? We want to get... How do we want to get going here? Let's go... Okay, we're going to have to get on to land here somehow. Okay, we want to... Let's go ahead and push... Let's go here and... Oh, whoops. Hey, the bummer sound. I did. I forgot that it was in this game. So let's go ahead and... Okay, so now I have to think harder because putting a block on the turtle will also do away with it so we need to get these around somehow let's go i like the uh, emphasis on not getting chips so much it's a lot of the time it's more about doing puzzles which is which is nice um but okay so i guess maybe what we want to do is just get this going this way there we go and then we can get this onto here okay so now we just have to push the other blocks there we go. Now we got to do the others in a way that's like, um, let's go, let's go here and then here. All right. Okay. Very good. All right. And then we get this one up here. So we have a path to the exit, but do we have to do anything special? Uh, we would have to put, we would have to preserve all the blocks to get that 1k over there. Still, I think, okay. All right, let's get 10, and then let's double our bonuses. 80, woohoo, 80 points. It's better than one. <laughs> I probably could have preserved all the blocks, but there are multiple ways to do that puzzle, and that's always appreciated. Now we have swivels. Uh-oh, we've got the swivel doors, and the first level that they put them in is doing this. Okay, we've got 200... Okay, which way can we go here? Okay, well, that's a little way. Let's just go as far as we can with that. Okay. Let's go ahead and reverse that then. Okay, can't do that. But we can probably just go down through here like this. Okay, now where to from here? Okay, alright. That's okay. It's not too hard to get around the way here. Hey, all right, we're making really good headway now. Okay, well, we were. Okay, so which is the way we want to go here? Okay. Hopefully I don't get myself stuck or anything. Okay, so that got me all the way through that row. 
Let's just keep going all the way through the rows, cutting as hard as we can through those. Well, that went pretty well, actually. Okay. Go through there, and then there. Okay, yeah, that wasn't too bad. That's a pretty intuitive little puzzle, actually. That's not too bad at all. You don't end up hitting yourself on too many walls. It looks daunting, but it's actually pretty easy, as I would hope that the eighth level of a game is. Well, Chip, that was all very simple. Yes, I agree, Vladimir Garoshki. It was very simple. But it's time to learn some new rules. Uh-oh, they're going to get Bill Maher in here. Please, God, help us all. Lesson 2 by Chuck Somerville. So, okay, we start on a hint. You have to collect all 50 chips on this level to pass the chip socket at the end. Generally, yes, you have to get all the chips. Or the prescribed number, anyway. Be careful, there are monsters in this level. If you hit one, you will die. And then who will take care of Melinda? Melinda will. She's a strong, independent woman. She can take care of herself. Grab the chips in this maze of purple, thin purple panel walls. So the thin walls in this game are purple, it would seem. Let's go, let's navigate the monsterless maze. No monsters for now. That's, that's a welcome respite. Oh my gosh, what a daunting maze. Though no minotaur to stop. Hey, there's the bombs down there. We know what to do with bombs. All right, the ant hugs the left wall, tracing the path along the side of the wall, as it did in, uh, you're safe as long as you don't get in his way. Okay, the ant is much scarier and more realistic looking in this game. Kind of... Kind of wigging me out a little, not gonna lie, but as in the first chip challenge, the ant follows the left wall, and the, okay, it's the centipede in this game, not the paramecium. The centipede hugs the right wall, so it goes the opposite way. So let's get in there and get that chip. Seven down, 43 to go. The glider can cross water while other monsters fall in and drown. The glider will go straight until it hits something. It will then try to turn left. If it can't turn left, it'll turn right. Otherwise, it'll turn around. Pretty bog standard glider behavior. Shouldn't be too hard to get around this thing. I think this is what this game considers a fireball. The fire box can cross fire. Because, you know, gotta get them poly gotta cram that polygon count into Chips Challenge 2. Otherwise, it won't be the AAA game of the year, according to official Xbox magazine. While other monsters avoid fire, but the fire box fights fire with fire and loves fire. The fire box will go straight until it hits something that will try to turn right. It turn right, it'll turn left, otherwise it'll turn around. Well, that was... Bummer. <laughs> well, just about as soon as I said something, of course. Oh, gosh. Well, now I have to do the maze all over again. I don't think I need to read the hints. That's quite all right. I think I uh, learned my lesson the first time, and yes, it is indeed a bummer that we have to do this all over again. But here we are. These lesson levels are really long, and I forget how many of them there are. But, uh, yeah, don't get in the ants' way. We don't want to get bitten by fire ants. That'll ruin the 4th of July barbecue. This whole thing smacks of gender, I say. Let's see. Uh, okay. That, that was a reference to a drill tweet. I'm not trying to be awful. Sorry. <laughs> so, let's go down. Uh, okay. This time we will avoid the firebox duly. Okay. There we go. And boom. All right, so here we go. Hey, we got some pretty colorful little walls down here. That's very nice. Okay, the balls bounce back. The purple balls bounce the way they came if they... Bounce back the way they came if they can't go straight. Well, looks like they're going pretty straight to me, so I'm going to avoid them very easily. Now we've got the toggle walls, a classic of the, of the genre. So we've got the toggle walls. Uh, this was its own whole level in Chip's Challenge. Not even reading the hint this time. I don't think I need it. I think I understand what's going on here. I think I, I think I've parsed out the score. The green toggle button. Yes, of course we know that. All right. So now the green toggle button changes these green chips to bombs and green bombs to their other state. Green chips and green bombs both count towards your chips left. Needed to pass the chip socket. That's a odd sentence. All right. Well, let's collect the chips. Very nice. They've got some nice little green branding on them. Very attractive. Stands out nice against the, the dark surface of the chip. Very good. And then let's get the others. And then there's one straggler left after that. Kind of lame. They should have just not put that one up in the corner. Now i got to walk all the way up for it. At least this isn't a timed level. When you push an ice block into the water, it makes an ice patch. Push these ice blocks into the water to rebuild three bridges. 
more than one ice block can be pushed at a time because ice presumably is light. All right. Seems like it works out pretty simply, so we want to get this one. Okay, so... All right, let's go ahead and... Uh, uh, let's push these over here. I almost could not figure out how to do this, and that would have been really embarrassing. So let's go ahead. And, there we go. Getting those individual ice blocks down. So can I push it on top of... I would imagine I could push it on top of a hint square. I certainly hope I can, but we're going to go the individual route for now, just to be safe. All right. One at a time. Easy does it. Or icy does it, I guess. <laughs> oh, Lord love a duck. So can I push it? I can push it over the hint square, and it'll just... Okay. There we go. Oh, hey, wow. I actually hit it before it was done sliding. That that may be advantageous in certain cases. So what do we got now? When you push ice blocks into fire, they meld into water. Kind of how elements work. I dig it. Push the ice into the water, fire to make water, then push the dirt into the water to make a dirt bridge. Okay, so... That's pretty... Okay, so we want to take these and put them in the same spot. Turn this into water. Make some steam. Ha <laughs> ha! Some kind of meta branding there. That's interesting. Well, the teeth. I saw them caught the teeth over there on the edge of the screen. They somehow look even scarier in this game. Kind of like the ants. There we go. Only five chips left. Only... So let's move on into the thick of it. Monsters are stopped by dirt and gravel. The red teeth always move toward you. Lure the teeth into the dead end. I think I can manage that. And you see now that, yeah, they just look like a disembodied pair of dentures now. That is super weird. Okay, so let's get the teeth down into here. Ha ha ha, you'll never catch me again, you stupid teeth. That's why you're teeth, not brains. These special colored floors and walls are just for decoration. Well, isn't that sweet? We've got the uh, camo room. We've got the Legends of the Hidden Temple room, the bubblegum room, and the ice cool room. Very good. We collected all 50 chips. And this time, we didn't die. If you have all the chips, then you're done. Well, we're not done for the entire day. We'll go ahead and just take what we got and move along to alone. Okay. Ooh, this is creepy. We got 20 chips to get. In 150 seconds. I have a feeling we're not going to be alone for very long. So let's let's get cracking on this. Let's try to move in a... Okay, there's my... There's my... Oh, no! I freed everything. That's not good. Oh, gosh. Okay, so now... Bummer. Okay, so which one was that? Okay. Need to remember which chip had the button under it. It's this one. Okay, so we want to... Okay, so I see what's going on here. We want to go ahead and collect chips until that we want to save that one for last. That way we don't free the roving horde. That okay. That's cute. All right. Good job. Good on whoever designed that. That's a neat one. Okay, so we're just gonna have to make a break for the exit at that point. Six, five, uh, four, and then I feel like I'm not moving in a very efficient route here. Okay. Okay, so all I gotta do is get to... And three, two, one, boom. Let's do it. Let's hide in this thing. All right. Very good job. Some of them are trapped in the wall for the rest of eternity. That's fine by me. Tumblers by C. Scott Davis. So where do we go with this? So let's see. Okay. It looks like a single screener. Uh, if we go up. Okay, there we go. All right, we've got the fire boots. So what does that do for us? Which way will we need to go now? Probably, I presume, here. Okay. All right, we want to get all the boots. And then, there we go. We are booted up. <laughs> there we go. The puns just, they, the puns work themselves out. Okay, yeah, I think we definitely want to reward ourselves with some good bo Oh, we don't have time to reward ourselves with bonus points. Bummer. I did not pay attention to the time. That wasn't very smart of me. Let's, okay, so let's make it quick then. All right, there we go. Get those, and then that way we can go right. Okay, and then boom. All right, if we want those bonus points, we have to move very quickly. All right, and down this way. 
13 seconds, 12, 10, oh my gosh. Hitting up on services is not smart, but I think we're gonna, I think we can make it out with all the bonus points. There we go. An extra bit of bonus there. That was very nice. So let's try to, okay, what's next? Force perimeter. This one looks like it might take a minute. So let's go ahead and make this the last one today. So we go up this way. All right. Okay, we have to avoid the balls, I see. Okay, so the balls are bouncing back and forth. We just gotta get in between them. Okay, kind of a kind of a little timing reflex based level. There we go, but it shouldn't be too bad, I don't think. But there's a there's a non-zero chance I could die here if I mess up the timing. I think I've got about half the chips there. I think I've gotten everything down this side, so let's go let's travel to the other end. Let's see how that pans out for okay go here and i imagine there are four little chambers here that i have to navigate okay we've done well so far very good let's keep on going okay now okay Whew. oh that was a little bit of a guess there that was but you can probably do this without too much guesswork okay that one wasn't so bad i dig that and now let's take ourselves to the exit that's a quick one a surprisingly quick one actually all right, there we go. We're, we're, we're smoking along pretty good. Five levels yesterday, seven levels today. We're doing a pretty good pace right now, and I am into it. Well, I'll see you guys next time for more chip collecting action. It is the most exciting activity on the planet, bar none. I have to go take my heart medication. I better be careful about this. I might get a little too ramped up for chip collecting.